There's a lot going on with the vlog squad right now, with some spending their time on live, them shading each other, podcast switch ups, and so much more. We're about to dive into all that's been going on between everyone because there's been some things happening. I recently talked about the fact that some of the members of the vlog squad have been going live on TikTok, battling it out for gifts on the app. People have been reacting to it a ton and haven't had the nicest things to say about the fact that they've been taking over on some people's For You pages. And now some members of the vlog squad are talking about those who have been battling it out and they definitely think it's embarrassing. On Zayn and Heath's Unfiltered podcast, they had Trevor Wallace on as a guest recently and were talking about those who go live on TikTok, and they were definitely throwing some shade at those who spend their time asking for gifts, saying there's really no amount of money that could get them to participate in something like that. Why is everybody <laughs> going live on TikTok now? Is that, Apparently is that the there's a lot of money. money. Mm. But like I don't know how Can we much. see him. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently the money, the money oh, there is, is okay. big. Is you make good money when you do the battles. That's when they're like all like, all right, come on, let's get us to like this many oh, likes and this many no. hearts. Every come time on, I guys. See I need to see the amount that they make after one battle. Like, is, I just need to see what they're no doing amount. that for. There is no. Amount. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's no amount. I'll do it. There's no no way. What's your price? It looks though? crazy. <laughs> Man, I just I think it's one of those things where I wouldn't catch myself. Like, I would do it, and then I would, like, say it to a friend, be like, oh, man, I can't tonight. I got to go live on... T I should probably not do that. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, I think once I, like, talked about it. But, like, 40 hours a week, what's, like, the... Oh, man. I mean, I need a Joe Rogan-type deal for that. <laughs> yeah. I, I need a 10 Just million guarantee. Just like, guarantee. exclusivity. Just feel... If, I feel like the audience knows that it's, like... He doesn't want to do this. <laughs> I'd rather make less money and do what I love. Zane tried to say that some people are actually good at going live, but for the most part, they all seem to think that nobody actually really wants to be doing that. And when it comes to groups of friends doing it, one of them has got to be thinking to themselves, they don't actually want to be there asking for gifts. I'm not gonna lie. There's some people that are really good at it. Like they, I feel like they yeah, really yeah. do want to be there and they're really interacting with the people that are gifting them. And I always cringe when it's like the like four the, no, friends the and they're all like committing to do like the live yeah. together. But I'm like, one of these friends has to be like, guys, can we please cut this? Like, <laughs> He's texting I, the group I, I, chat. So Made bored. enough money yet? Yeah. Like, I, one of them has to not be enjoying it. And when I was watching this, I was just like, maybe they don't know that their friends are literally out there on TikTok Live asking for gifts, battling it out, but they are aware. Zayn literally ended up bringing up the fact that he sent Jason money once during one of his live stream battles. I did it. Heath, I did it for Jason. Wait, there's, there's, Wait you what? did it for Jason? <laughs> yeah, I gave him a galaxy oh you should have seen his reaction he was flipping he was doing backflips when he what's, that galaxy. what's a galaxy equivalent to? it's, it's, oh, it's like, like 10 20 bucks, bucks yeah but dude they, <laughs> kids are gonna run their parents <laughs> accounts dry because of this oh, oh big are time. gonna bankrupt mom and dad by sending galaxy i'll tell yeah. you right now if i found out my kid was sneaking using my credit card to pay for galaxy yum yum but hot sauce so i would do be, it i would be living so clearly these guys are just not the biggest fans of what their friends are doing and they aren't the only ones. I mentioned in my last video talking about this that Alex Ernst also was making fun of those vlog squad members who have been asking for gifts on live. It's the next day I put the steps in last night you couldn't see them and uh, well it's one o'clock in the afternoon right now. Okay. So I would have continued this vlog a lot earlier if I didn't have a job. Yeah, some of us have jobs. Some of us work for a living. I'm gonna be live on this app all day today, guys. And Warner, let's go! Yes! Send me another galaxy. Send me three uh, galaxy gifts, and I'll take my shirt off for three seconds, guys. Come on. Send me some gifts. I need some gifts. Come on. Guys, send me some gifts. Seriously. Now, since we were just talking about the unfiltered podcast, there was some drama between fans of the show and the hosts, Heath and Zane, because people were worried about mariah mariah is heath's fiance i don't know if any of you guys saw this news but they've been together for a very long time and they just announced that they got engaged and it was a pretty big deal for a lot of their fans because something that they've been roasted for in the past whenever jason has hosted a roast there's usually a joke about mariah and heath and them not being engaged and all of this stuff but they did announce that they did get engaged, but prior to this announcement, people were kind of worried that something was going on between them or between some members of the Unfiltered podcast because of the fact that 
When they came back for season five, Mariah was missing as one of the hosts, and she alongside Matt had been a part of the Zane and Heath podcast since the beginning, basically. And since she wasn't there, they were just like, what the heck happened? And you know, why aren't you guys saying anything? And they actually recently did address why she's not going to be on the show as much. And she said it was a decision that she made for herself. Do not put this on them because it was, this was my choice. This is something that I came to the boys and wanted to do. And uh, it was, I decided to, um, no, I came to the boys and just basically told them that I was no longer comfortable just being on camera and talking for that long for numerous reasons. And I just wanted to edit and that was it. And they said, we, support your decision but we really want you to somehow like stay at least stay on camera if you can if you want to chime in when you want whatever so i wanted to like be cold turkey and just be completely behind the scenes because that's where i'm most comfortable yeah. but um we found like a middle point and i thought this was a safe option mariah talked more about her decision to leave and how she's just been feeling on the podcast really being hard on herself about it and that being a big reason as to why she doesn't want to do it anymore one this is one of my biggest issues is i have i always do this to you when we're at home i have trouble zane and i have trouble thank you taking what's happening up here and what we're thinking and like pouring it out of our mouths and that's very frustrating for me. So it's hard for me to get through an episode without being disappointed in myself. So I'm just like, be it's kind, just like a lot of anxiety. And yourself. it's very like, I'm very hard on myself. And I everyone's gonna be like, oh, you sound fine. Like who cares? I feel bad about myself. She didn't even know that people would really care to see her go, but a lot of the comments were calling on the boys to address her absence because they missed her and they really liked her and they felt like she was such an addition to all of them on the show. And people in the comments of the video where she was addressing all of this felt really sad that she was being super hard on herself and wrote, never have I ever thought Mariah had talked too much, answered something wrong, talked too little, etc." Actually, the total opposite. Mariah, you gave so much to the podcast. You are funny, intelligent, and a beautiful woman. And the fact that you want to leave yourself behind the scenes makes me so sad. I hope she sees these comments and realizes how loved she is. It's not the same without her. Mariah is literally the biggest reason I listen to this podcast. Her humor is something I hugely admire about her and her storytelling is the best. She is so quick and witty. I love her. Wish Mariah realized how much talent she has and how much everyone watches this podcast because of her. Like someone else commented, every episode without her has felt like a chore and very hard to finish. I love you guys, but it literally is boring without her breaking in with her humor. Love you, Mariah. And there were a ton of people that were saying, I'm not going to listen to this podcast anymore because they love Mariah. But she has been in a lot of the more recent episodes just because one of them included her own parents. And then, of course, her and Heath are about to talk about their engagement. And I'm sure she'll be chiming in more because they're going to be talking about a potential wedding and things like that. But she's got some fans, you guys. And I do think that out of everyone kind of under this vlog squad title, that the ones that still are sort of favored by the general public are Carly and Aaron, Mariah. Matt also seems sort of in some safe category as well. But on the topic of the vlog squad, I wanted to mention Jeff because he was asked about the members and his status with David when he was stopped by the paparazzi this week. And he gave a little update as to how his lawsuit against David has been going. And it doesn't sound like David is making anything easy for him. He just run, he's just running from uh, the courts trying to just make up a bunch of lies and try okay. to use money to force me out, the, the smaller guy. But we're fighting it. I got the power of people's Wow. behind me. I feel the support. I feel the love from the people that see the truth. And yeah, that's what keeps me going, man. Running away, huh? Maybe David thinks that the longer that he can drag this out, the more money it'll cost Jeff and he will just drop it. But fortunately, Jeff has said in the past on Jeff FM that he is working with some really good people on this. And this will hopefully not be the case where, you know, David is just like sucking the money out of him. I believe that Jeff is in a scenario where he won't have to pay anything 
unless they win. At least that's what I believe he said the last time he sort of talked about this and like the lawyer situation, but hopefully justice will be served soon. But as of right now, that's pretty much what's been going on. Let me know what you guys think about the fact that Zayn and Heath were kind of throwing some shade with Trevor Wallace about those that were going live. If you saw anything about Heath and Mariah's engagement or the fact that she was leaving the unfiltered podcast and what Jeff had to say about David. Let me know all your thoughts. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.